this technical corner I'm joined by Gareth from Tame Work Holding and we're going to be discussing the VAC mat. Now vacuum work holding has been around for a long time as we can see from this blast from the past video that you've supplied Gareth. Now what, how does it work? What is it? What applications does it lend itself to? Yeah, vac mat as you say has been around a long time. It's 25-30 years on the market. Very very clever idea uh, and as good today as it was back then. Uh, so very very simple system and generally aimed at subcontractors that don't really know what might be coming through through the door next. Uh, vacuum is good for thin parts, uh, aluminiums, plastics predominantly. Uh, we have machined some steels and different exotic steels, but predominantly aluminium and, and uh, plastic uh, sheet work. Uh, so the vacuum mat works very, very simply. We have a fixture. This is a modular fixture and it's based around a mat size of 300 by 200. Uh, so the mat is simply positioned on the fixture and when you apply vacuum to it the, vac the mat seals itself with this lip here. So the, va the, ma the mat is then vacuumed down onto the fixture and then you can apply your raw material. So the idea is you apply the raw material and each one of these suckers forms its own independent seal underneath the part. If you look, Geo, you can just see in there there's a, there's a pin hole. Yeah. Okay, so the vacuum is pulled through that pin hole, and then this, this ridge pulls the part down. And what happens is it pulls the part to this solid face here, so that the, the, the seal will distort, and it pulls the part back to a solid face. So you can get quite an accurate... Uh, parallelism, flatness for, for your part. What kind of clamping force do you get, Gareth? Uh, cl the clamping force, the idea with the vacuum is you remove the air from below the part and it's air pressure that is holding the part down on the uh, onto the fixture. Am I correct to say the larger the surface area, the greater the force being created? Yes, you know, the more surface area you have, the better chance that you have of actually Holding, holding the part down. So, and, and you're saying that it's modular as well, Gareth. So, yeah. effectively, if I were doing larger parts, you just build them up like a Meccano set. Effectively. Exactly. You pull the plugs out on the side here, put a through connector in, and another uh, another uh, fixture on the side. How is the vacuum created? Uh, we always use a vacuum pump. We found that it's the most reliable, uh, the safest way to do it. Uh, there are other systems on the market such as a venturi type valve uh, but we found with a pump that you the pump operates continuously so you know that you've got vacuum all of the time and there's not another demand from another machine down at the factory to, trying to use some of the air pressure so by using a pump it keeps consistent vacuum uh, for the whole time that you're machining now we're looking at some of these components here and i, I can see that obviously fin wall parts and, and there must be a limit on the height of the component. But when you're doing internal pockets, I can see that that's fine. But what about when you're doing profiling of the part? You know, how do you get down to the bottom of the part without touching the mat? Is that is that a possibility? Uh, you can go with using the vac mat. The vac mat is sacrificial. Right. Okay. So you can machine down past the bottom of your part. You can machine into the into the mat. Yeah. And you can go all the way around the part using the other suckers which are solid still under here and they're keeping the part in, in position. And does that apply as well with when you're producing holes through the component the as through, well? The through holes, yeah. The, the rule of thumb with it is if, if you uh, remove about a third of the surface area, so with that pocket or if, if you've uh, got a number of holes in the part, roughly about a third, you can remove a third of it and it will still maintain so it the part position. So quite a lot of flexibility there, Gareth, really. It does, yeah. It's it's no good if you wanted to completely pepper that with holes yeah. because obviously you break every seal there. But a, a part like this, which has got holes around the edge, that'll work that'll And also, work how, how would you hold that and do the profile around that in, in mechanical with a mechanical work hold and you distort it? You, know, you can do you it in one hit, the profile in one hit, and I can't exactly. think of another way... To hold it, well, there's a few different ways, but not, you know, that's a, it's a really good way of... It's a uh, very, very quick way, yeah. The, the, mat, the mats, as I say, are, are a consumable item, so once you've machined into the mat, we tell you to throw it away and, and, start, and, again. and start again with the next one. Yeah, well, 
Gareth, thank you very much for the time and a great review on this product. So if you have any requirements that, or applications that lend themselves to vacuum work holding, contact Tane.